video because you already know that you guys can't get enough of this epic content so we're gonna do more now so this is a much more casual one there's no epic preparation we're gonna do like each of us says a song or one of us says a song we all listen to it then we say our thoughts on it yeah so we're just, i'm gonna like speed it up i can't play the song obviously wait should, should we put these in a playlist and then leave a link or something yeah that yeah i'll do that or one of us could do that. Can we take a I haven't like found Follow any along with like, us. <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, you can just do off top. Like, it's just any like one I don't like song. Have it. Like, give me top. Okay, so yeah, so Scott's going to pick a song and then we're going to make a playlist, put it in the description. There's going to be either four or eight. Depends on how long this takes because I don't want it to be like a super long video. So I actually got sent this song the other night by one of my good friends, Marty. Shouts out, Marty. And I, I sent it to Carlos the other day. It's called Damselfly by mm. Loyal Carner featuring Tom Mish. Tom you guys Mish, need me to spell uh, that works. for you. God, this is the worst Damselfly, D-A-M-S-E-L-F-L-Y. I'm queued up. I'm not ready. I, I'm ready. Okay, so. For big FMO. All right, guys, we're about to play this up. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. No, it didn't. <laughs> Stop. Hello, hello. Here we go. All right. Go. Hello, 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 hello. Right. My schlimmy. Schlimmy, dimmy, 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 dimmy. We have a new guest. Who could it be? Oh my God. <laughs> I came to Zoom box. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. So, so, my thoughts on that was that was like super groovy, chill. I liked his sort of laid back delivery and I loved his accent. Yeah. I thought he had a beautiful little voice like floating in and out. And I love the drums yeah. that they were fast paced. Sometimes jazz uh, rap songs can just kind of slow down with the drums and I don't always love that. But I really like the fast paced hi-hats and everything. I think it, 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 was, it had a lot of energy for a, like a slower love song. Yeah, I have to agree, like, almost completely. I think the laid-back feel was really nice. The guitar and the horns were really well-layered. I, I really like the drums, too. It was a nice mix between... A nice mix between more organic <laughs> instruments. <laughs> Shame we're not on Discord. I, I mean, we're not on Zoom. I can't mute Vic anymore. I can't, like, boot him. <laughs> I can't put him in the waiting room. Yeah, I thought um, the drums were a nice balance. I liked how they were kind of, like, louder than everything else. You know, but I thought the mix was still really good. I liked his accent. Uh, I thought it was a great track. Tom Mish. Right, that's his name. Yeah, Snap. my son. Tom Mish, ultimate vibe giver, uh, hundred plus vibe donations. A uh, hundred vibe, freaking Skyrim. <laughs> no, with this, I hate to use the term, and I'll probably cringe for this, but this song is just such a vibe. It's just laid back, yeah. chill. Probably a great drunk to uh, drive to. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. that's. I, I've just been like going with this type of music recently, and it's just been like very summery and upbeat. No bap, which is great. Yeah, yeah a, no bap. A summer. Summer bop for sure. A little boop bop, sure. little boop bop ass song for your ass. Go <laughs> listen to it on SoundCloud. <laughs> um, no, Tom Ish, uh, definitely check him out. Snap the vibe, the vibrations. Nine out of ten. All right, Ooh. Next song. Who's up? Who's up next? Pick the uh, baby. Go next last. song. I have it. I'm not even ready. I'll go next. I'll go next. All right, Ev, you got it. All right, my song is going to be Humpty Bump off of Stadium Arcadium by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hump. These nuts. Bump -de -bump. I do doing up uh, vibrations. Wow, 29 million streams. It's not even under a million streams. Not freaking It's not niche enough for this. It's for not this, niche uh, enough. Whoever song Wait, has so least sorry. streams well, gets the highest rating. How is it spelled? Yeah, Alpha on this album, so it has to be bad, right? Hump. How, how is it spelled? Johnny. Hump. Hump. What the Frischante? -E Three words. Hump. She's only 18. Bump. What the fuck is Off this song them. about? <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> yeah, I'm done with that fucking song. No, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, All right. cool. there was a freaking groove on that song. The uh, horns, yeah, were Dude, that, that was, was a boop like bop song. That was, was like, a humpty bumpty uh, do bop. Like, <laughs> all right, imagine this you're going to like a cookout and you're like, oh my god, I really want like mashed potatoes, I really want mac and cheese, I want ribs. But you can only bring one thing, and it's like everyone brought your favorite songs to, or your favorite like sides together, and they were there. And you got to eat it. Wait, what? What wow. is this analogy? That's fire. That's Wait, a what? fire I'm analogy. Gonna... He's flying the flag. Wait, say it again. I missed, like, I missed like the uh, I missed the like punchline. My fucking Bluetooth keeps screwing up. The the horns let you guys, were. You guys talk great. first, but uh, the slap bass went crazy. The slap. guitar Dude, lines flea. were just on point. Please, so good. But. Uh, it was just it was immaculate it was great the production was production value was excellent you should back out and come back you're like slide showing yeah you're like slide showing okay all, all right, right no, it's gone. we're lit we're lit, we're lit. We go. that's that's me i'm all good that was a great song great track yeah um i love that little like it was almost like pots and pans in the kitchen solo yeah. in the percussion yeah. solo that was so sick that was that was a groovy song for sure i yeah. i enjoyed that track I really, I really like the vocals. Like, I don't know what it was. Yeah, there was but... a, yeah, there was some, there was one like vocal like flow in there that went crazy. I think it was like the start of the second verse went crazy. The chorus is awesome. I think they do a really good job of like the verse starts and it's very thin. There's a lot of silence, like empty space, which I think works really well. The, the bass line is very simple. The guitar part is very minimalist. The drums are very simple. And as you get closer to the chorus, it starts to build. And then the chorus comes in. It's a great, like, big moment. All the tension is released. There's those big guitar chords. And the flea is just totally clicking on the bass, man. I think Anthony Kiedis' vocals are always great to listen to. Um, the drums are great. Just the, the songwriting, I think, is excellent on this song. I think, For sure. I think I should stop trying to imitate the singer because it's too close to the actual song. I might, be, might get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the drum break is reminiscent of, I don't know if you guys know the song, Spoon Man by Soundguard. They do a very similar mm-hmm. thing where they have like the chorus and they cut this drum break where they have someone playing the spoons and it sounds very similar to you know this, this drum break, which is a really cool effect. I have a funny story about um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, which doesn't relate to any of this at all. But we were in the weight room. Uh, before all of like you found Rocket it? League, before Rocket League started, <laughs> hit the way room, hit the way room. and uh, we were like listening to the radio that they had on in there, and they were talking about like coronavirus, like starting to outbreak. And this lady was like, "Yeah, um, so we just heard that the state of California is under a um, state of emergency because of, they found local spread of the coronavirus." Blah blah blah. Uh, coming up next is Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, <laughs> and then that was literally <laughs> the next song they played right after that. It was. It was Coronavirus. Yeah, I think yeah. this is like a great. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, what's next? I'm up question. Next. Good question. We have a question before you go. Yeah, is this like supposed to be um, songs that we're bumping now, or it's supposed to be like a certain genre, like feel good playlist, or like no. what is there? Just, just song that we like. You want to play? No, just song anything, that we like. You want to share? Okay. All right. Just, just wanna speak. Ah, uh, the Smiths. The Smiths. All at range life off Crooked Rain. Three. Two, one, go. First of all, that cover art is fire. Just gonna put that out there. It said like <laughs> luck on every finger with all those rings. That was kind of crazy. The guitar work in there was really cool, and I really liked the last like minute. Was really really cool with that like it sounded like there's a piano mixed in the back there, and I, I really enjoyed that last that last part of the song for sure. I think um the mix was really good. The layering was really good. I really liked the chord progression in the verse and it is also in the chorus it was refreshing to hear a minor chord after our past couple of songs you know um one thing i was surprised they the the smashing pumpkins disc really took me by surprise because that didn't really age too well did it because the pumpkins are one of the most famous bands of the 90s no but. it's not a disc i think it's more like he's just talking about like the way they live and like how he has to oh, live, like as a touring artist like he's just like poking fun i don't think he's dissing them i thought it was a good uh, song though yeah i i like the song i like the the strumming of the guitar i really thought that drove the track along i really really like the chorus he has a great melody on the chorus yeah i just like how he sings like i just smile every time he says range life like when he sings that yeah the falsetto he was really reaching with the falsetto <laughs> all right carlos all right 
We are going to do Gospel for a New Century by, by the, Ives the Tumor. Centers. Gospel for... For a new... Yeah, I'm ready. Three, three two... two. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I really like the sampling and the chopping. I think it was, uh, it was a little slow to start, but once it got into it, I think I loved his vocals like so much. It like made up for it being sort of slow to start and slow to bring the layers in. I wish it was a little quicker because there was so much space in between the sampling. But then once he his vocals came in, I loved his vocals and I loved the writing. I think it was really smart writing. And I love the soundtrack, soundtrack equality to it. It was like, prob made, it like, sounded like it was a sample of like a movie soundtrack. Like when the da came in, I like that. Don't copyright me for that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was really, I thought it was really cool. Uh, it was just like, I can't even like find really how to describe it, but it, it was just like heavy, kind of like sat on you a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it, it was definitely a really, really cool song. It's not one that, it's not something that I've heard really for, you know, it was kind of like a new, fresh type of, I'm finding it tough to describe, <laughs> but it was cool. It was really cool. Yeah, I liked it a lot too. Um, I think the intro, unlike Vic, I think the intro developed really well. I think I wish it was even a little bit longer. I think the bass line in the verses was really badass. It kind of reminded me of some of the bass off Untitled Unmastered by Kendrick, Kendrick. which is another great, a lot of good bass lines in the album. Um, I think the, the layering was really great in the chorus, as well as the, the verse. The verse is a little bit thinner, you know, for his voice to shine. And then in the chorus, there's all these elements come in, and it's just huge chorus, which I think really worked really well. That was a great song. Took the, took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say my favorite thing is the bass, the bass line in the verses. It really drives it. And I think there's that first second when he comes in with the bass line. It's just like, oh, it's so good. And then, like, it just develops into this big grandiose chorus that brings back the sampling from the intro and the guitars from the verse. I thought it was well done really yeah, well. I like the soundtrack -y appeal of it. Yeah, I like the bass line. Sorry, I thought you were just saying things that we already said before. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. God. Yeah, oh, God. Hey, I got, hey, I got to take on my cap for that one. Oh, my uh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that one's about to get added to I'm the, gonna to the playlist, go, I think. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, Vic, I'm writing these down, too. So. Oh, I'll remember. Oh, what's up, Scott? Yeah, I'll remember. I'm going to go with Heaven's Only Wishful by More More. Sorry, say that again. Heaven's Only Wishful. Heaven's Only Wishful. By Momo. By Momo. How did that come okay, up? Did like listening to my fucking shlimi i put in heavens and it's here the first song it's crazy <laughs> wow five no, never four three two one <laughs> Sorry. for a second okay uh, i really like the groove i think it was like beat one where the the snares and the drums really started it's very chill um he had another from baby k coming in <laughs> he never failed to um bring forth the vibe to the uh music Woo! council so uh, it, was, it was a great ch groovy chill uh track i thought um the vocals weren't like didn't like amaze me but i think they they served their purpose they did what they needed to do i mean next me next before i forget all the things i want to say that's the biggest problem with these these like where we just all do right, like, a so song and talk about it is that i try to make like a mental list as i go through the song of what like, things that i liked and i want to talk about but it's hard to remember all of by the time it gets to the end for this song i really liked the development i think it like feels like it's always moving forward you know onto the next part but it's moving at like just the right pace like the uh, the drums keep it going i like how the drums kind of walk the line between like acoustic and and like electronic you know the way it sounds i really like the bass line in the chorus and the bridge sections it's very simple uh, but i think it does the job really well it's perfect for the style that he's going for i really like the guitar solo at the end even though it's like a little bit under the vocals i think that works well it's a cool solo you know overall a lot of good stuff going on so i my favorite part was the writing and the vocals they're very boring boyish very like um, not childish but like you know youthful um i love the vocals i think it was groovy but i think um it, it was just basically a backdrop to his amazing vocals i i i was i didn't think it was anything crazy the groove but i love the vocals so much and i love when he said when he paused and said whatever that was like my favorite part i love when like they just do like dumb stuff like that it's not dumb it's like really funny and uh matches uh the 
the focus of the song but i thought the writing was super smart like when the cold wind comes at night heaven's only wishful i think i i just really like the progression how it just built up to that like crazy ending but that, that whatever is pretty cool and that they sprinkled in um but yeah i, I i've been enjoying that shot i love stuff like that a little bit now yeah for sure yeah that was a great song all I right another vibe. Great track. Uh, uh, next or is, i think i'm next right evan yeah, you're next. you guys want me to do a, a more contemporary song or an older song Whatever tickles your fancy. Older. Yeah, yeah. All right, older is fine. Right, Whatever yeah, tickles decide. bro has to say. Now who's your favorite, me or bro has? I said contemporary, he said older. Yeah, you get to decide. Just do older. Just do older. <laughs> okay. Wait, is it um, me? Or is it some me yeah, decide? So, I yeah. thought yeah. You, no, oh. you get to decide because they each picked a different option. Uh, older. Uh, older or more contemporary? Uh, Boomer or Zoomer, Scott? Think about it. <laughs> All right, this is heads, this is Taylor. Sorry, this is older, this is newer. Xbox plug. Older. Older, all right. Uh, yeah. Vaseline uh, microphone. Oh, wait. Oh, Vaseline microphone. Microphone. Shut up, dude. Oh my god. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. Uh, Sarn is going to be Vaseline by the Stone Temple Pilots. Transformer sound every time we switch from listening to talking. Okay. I thought the driving guitar was really cool, and I also liked how like the chorus was kind of short, but it definitely like delivered a like pretty substantial message and like what the song was going for. And I liked how the song just like ended with it just kind of going out with those like those like those bongo drums or whatever they were. I, and I really liked the little snippet of those like halfway through the song that they put in there. But over, yeah, it was a cool song for sure. Carlos. Or I'll go. So I like it got to it got to like the main ideas quickly, but I like like how it was sort of slower. And I liked the idea of getting stuck in the Vaseline because that's like without having to describe it too much. It's like a really weird and like gooey. It's like a weird thing to think about being stuck in Vaseline. I think it was a very clever way to describe feeling stuck or whatever deeper meaning it was. I, I and uh, I liked how it just ended really quickly. I like. Yeah, I mean, pretty much I agree with uh, all you guys. I really like the the driving guitars, as Scott said the uh bongo solos were fire i don't even know if you kind of solos they were like a couple just yeah. like a couple of measures and that was it but i, I enjoyed that i like the what victor said where it said like flies were just flies and vaseline whatever that means but i, I like the idea i like that picture that it painted it's a great track yeah, and i like the picture of like reaching into it like so gross i think you're muted yeah you're muted crap victim still in the trunk bow got he oh the <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to fact check that one. Uh, wait, I've been talking yet. Yeah, that's Schleemster. Yeah, I think um my favorite parts of the song are probably I really like the the guitar tone, I think is is really good. And the guitar riff too, it's like pretty minimalist and very repetitive repetitive, but I think it works really well. I like mm -hmm. really like the singer's voice. I really like his voice and his delivery. I think it works really well with the uh, the tone of the other instruments in the style. I like the lyrics a lot, the flies in the Vaseline line. It's a cool, like, kind of like existential, you know, metaphor for our lives, just as like a collective group, like humanities, you know, everyone's just like stuck, like the rat race and stuff. I wish, oh, I like the chord progression in the chorus, how it goes from like the same chord in the verse to this like, you know, higher, pitch in the chorus i think it works really well i just wish the song was longer as well it's, it's three minutes but it feels like just like a minute and a half it's so short so i'm gonna go with repeater by fugazi or fugazi as i like to call them but my mom's always like no it's fugazi it's not it's fugazi because <laughs> future says all your diamonds fugazi. so whatever future says goes Hendrix. am i right you're right um, you're not gonna be the most right all right i'm queued up ready five four three two one chunks or what uh i thought that like screeching guitar was really cool yeah it's like it's like that like there you go. that like screeching guitar oh, yeah. that like kind of comes in throughout it like it's it's really cool and like i i don't really hear it that much at least in the music that i generally listen to but i thought it was a really really cool touch and then i also liked the line like um don't you know ink washes out easier than blood i thought that was really really cool am i slideshow yeah you're you are od slideshow all right you go well i, I hopefully my like bluetooth 
doesn't fuck up. Um, I thought it was a cool song. I really liked the panning and the guitars in the beginning, how it kind of like panned, you know, like back and forth. It's, there's other parts. What happened? 8 okay, music hello. panning alert. There we go. Am I right? Yeah, the, I thought the panning was really cool. I liked the guitar in the verses, how it was kind of like harsh and, you know, ab abrasive. And Shut up, dude. Oh my God. And it turned into like very melodic in the chorus. Right. Um... You're not, that'd be the most right. I liked the bass line in the chorus. I guess, you know, the whole song, I thought the bass was really cool. I liked the doubling of vocals. Vocals. In that like bridge vocals. session. Like, 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 uh, you know, there were some parts where it was like the line was, he would say the line and someone would say the line again a second later. There were some parts where it was just like a chorus effect and then where it was more like singing instead of just talking. I thought that was really cool. I wish the snare had been a bit louder in the mix in the verses. I thought it was a little drowned out. That was that. I thought it was a good song. Yeah, I agree. I really like that track. The um, the little bridge break, the where it was a little polyrhythmic with the in terms of the drum. That was that was a cool little addition. I really like his voice. His, his I feel like his voice is really what shines in this song. It really makes made this song for me. Yeah, I love that song because I just love all the lyrics and I love his voice. I think he's great at, at what he does and I like when his like bandmate backs him up on certain parts like in the chorus. I just think the main idea of the of the core of the song is just so clever like uh to you i'm nothing but a number and it's about a lot of things it's about guns it's about all the millions of people that are just numbers in the government's perspective and the drug trade it's a lot about too and i just think all the lyrics are just cool and i love his delivery and i love like how it's it switches uh from the intro into like the bridge into like the verse into like when it drops out and then when he comes back in and he's like, you hear that outside? <laughs> copyright. <laughs> yeah, copyright for that. It's From the top left. The gummy bear song. Near DT comma MI by Black Midi. No On result. his Maybe album, Schleimheim? Schleim and Dean? Schleimheim. Wait, so Schleimheim. near Detroit, Michigan. Detroit's in Michigan, right? <laughs> Doesn't have under a million listens, so it's not niche enough. Sorry, next song. Already three, already three, two, One. two, play. <laughs> Put the cap off. Take the cap off for this. So, it's hard to uh, to talk about this song after like one listen. Yeah, I got a lot going on. All right, let's hear it. So I think it was it was like a super fun song in that like it started really slow and like poetic reading off of over this like bleak you know chords and little little synth hits or whatever. But um, copyright. I it it was awesome because it just sounded it sounded like a spider a song off Spiderland by Slint. His tone of voice really fit, and the writing was really smart. Uh, talking about the water, like dead body in a river near Michigan. I can imagine the scene, you know, push through the, the bush, look in the water. There's like a dead guy. It's on like the border into Detroit. There's like I don't know some pistons are lying around or something i'll go next i thought it was good too i really like the the development throughout obviously you know, it gets like kind of quiet and it builds up to that chorus which i think works really well i like the drums a lot in that middle section it seems like it draws from like jazz drumming the way he kind of like not a solo but it's not like a groove either he's just kind of like playing you know like kind of like the jazz drummer um i think the yeah the the singer's like tone really ma like fit the the subject matter pretty well i also thought the kind of like jarring and maybe it felt a little disconnected the guitar solo at the and felt like it matched or fit the subject matter pretty well also. You know, it's kind of like harsh um, and in your face. Yeah, it's hard to talk about this one only from one listen. Yeah, I, I think for the, like the first minute, it, it felt like I was literally like watching a scene out of a horror movie. Like that's like the tone of it, like it kind of put into me, which was really cool. They did that really well. The, the singer was really good at capturing that, those emotions and like that suspenseful air of the entire song. And um, that like full just breakdown at the end was really 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 powerful so Super yeah, it was cool it was, yeah I almost seriously you know, they ask you how you are obviously i like that track it was really just like a roller coaster of a song there were so many different elements so there was it started off so fast with the little like guitar riffs mm -hmm. um and then everything came in at once and then it's yeah. 
that like Evan said, the drummer was kind of just like messing around on the drums while the buildup was happening. Uh, but I think the main reason, which I also didn't, I, I didn't get on my first listen, was the title is supposed to be uh, talking. The song is supposed to be talking about Flint, Michigan, and about the water yeah, crisis there. So yeah, that's why it says near yeah. DT, Michigan. He says like there's lead in the water, and you think I'm fine. Um, so it's talking about that, and I think that's part of the reason why I really like it. And along with it, the instrumentation is just excellent. Great. I think we all like liked every track that we uh, recommended, right? For sure. Yeah, I hated I my think. songs. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us, Vic. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a great send off. Let me know in the comments. I know you guys go crazy in the comments. <laughs> you guys go fucking. Wild Maria, in the drop comments. a comment. <laughs> like, stop chatting in the comments about what you liked about the video. You guys just talk so much. My dad, my dad leaves a comment. Love you, dad. Keep putting those comments there. Yeah. So if you guys like this idea let us know and if not we're just gonna keep doing it no matter what we'll never stop <laughs> we'll not, we'll never stop it's gonna keep showing up on your feed until